In this example, we're going to see how our graphing calculator can be used to generate a scatter plot from a given data set. So our first task is, given the data set at the top of the screen here, let's see how we're going to get that into our calculator. So we're going to go to step one here in the directions to enter the data into our calculator. We're going to press the STAT key, which is in the second row, STAT. And then edit is the menu part we want to access, so we're just going to press enter. If there are items in L1 and L2, which should be the two columns that appear, first and second, we want to delete all of those. To delete items in a column, use the arrow key on your calculator to scroll to the header of the column, and then press enter excuse me, clear, and then enter. So let's do the next one. Scroll up to the column header, press clear, and then enter. So now your um, lists should be clear. We're going to enter all the items here in the input row. Zero, enter, one, enter, two, enter, three, enter, four, enter, five, enter. Once all of those are in place, use your right arrow to go over to the L2 column and enter all of the values in the L2 column. So you're entering each one and then pressing enter. Lots of enters going on. So I have 190, 190, and then the last one is 186. And then enter. So I want to double check very quickly that I have the same number of elements in each column. If I do, then I'm going to go down to my next step, which is to turn on my stat plot. So I'm going to go to my y equals in the calculator. If there's anything in any of my equations, I'm going to clear that out. Then I'm going to use my arrow key to go up to plot 1, hit enter, and then use my arrow key to go back down to the y equals. So now plot 1 should be highlighted. My next step is to graph the data in an appropriate viewing window. To do that, I'm going to first click the window key. Then I need to look at my data set and determine the lowest and highest input values. Well, in this case, my lowest input was 0. My highest input was 5. So for inputs, I can just use the lowest and the highest. I'm going to skip over the scale, leave that at 1, and I'm going to go to Y min. To determine the Y min and Y max, I'm going to look at my data set and determine the lowest and highest output values. The lowest output was 186, and the highest was 196. So I'm going to go slightly below the lowest output value and slightly above the highest output value. Other values are possible, but these are the initial ones that will work the best. I'm going to skip over the scale and the resolution, and I'm just going to press graph, which is in the upper right-hand corner. And that is going to give me a good view of my data. We can see from looking at the data that they are not exactly linear, but we're going to learn how to approximate these data with a linear function using something called linear regression. So one thing I do want to mention is that once you've finished working with the scatter plot, go back to your y equals when you're all done and turn off your plot 1. To do that, you're going to scroll with your arrow up to plot 1, press enter, and then scroll down. So the ending step working with any scatter plot or data set is to turn off that plot as it will interfere with other graphing and other problems.